everybody, my name is Luke Marr and this is Hot La Mode and today on Hot La Mode we are getting into another reaction to Say Yes to the Dress Bridesmaids. Honestly, I think I've been very nice recently and so I do think that reacting to a Say Yes to the Dress Bridesmaids video or two is gonna help me sort of get up, get out, and put forth that frustration in a verbal and or facial experience. Get ready because I'm sure it's not gonna be good. But before we get any further into the video, I want to say a huge shout out to today's sponsor who is ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN is a virtual private network service that keeps your data safe and allows you access to tap into content from all over the world, and I mean like all over. Firstly, the fact that ExpressVPN keeps your personal and professional information safe and sound and private by preventing others from being able to see what sites you visited is major. Because listen, I don't want anybody trying to sell me things that I don't really want. ExpressVPN ensures that 100% of your data being transferred between your devices and the internet is encrypted, as well as masking your IP address, making it much more difficult for people to track your activity online. To find out how you can get three months free Free, click the link in the description box below at expressvpn.com slash hotlamode. Secondly, ExpressVPN has made researching video topics and content so much easier for me and helps me to watch some of my favorite shows. If content isn't available in the United States, I can always check if it's available in other parts of the world. I have been watching the 13th season of RuPaul's Drag Race on Netflix because ExpressVPN lets me access the site through the United Kingdom. And I don't even have to hop across the pond to do so. So make sure you're protected and unlocking some great content with ExpressVPN by clicking on my link down below. Thank you, ExpressVPN. Let us commence this experience. Hi, ladies. Hi. I'm Brandon. Oh my god, hi. Oh, that's a lot. Yeah, okay, there, that's, that is a lot of bridesmaids. My name is Tanel McIntyre. I'm 27 years old. I am marrying Marcus Sloan. <gasps> Good for her. From this moment already, I do like this cheetah print. Normally, I'm not really a cheetah print girl. Like, listen, I respect the hustle of cheetah girls one and two. I feel like there was maybe a third one as well, but normally it's not like a style that I gravitate towards. But here, I actually kind of like this shirt. And so I also like the fact that her fiance is very attractive and so I'm having a large extravagant very contemporary wedding and he's I like the sound of this already okay well she's showing us the dress there's a lot of pulling gathering am I interested in how these textures are gonna play and how the textures are going to work together with the bridesmaids outfits yes I do think that that'll be an interesting sort of thing I wonder if she'll want them to also be as extravagant in terms of texture as her dress is or whether she's gonna have them be a lot more simple, a lot more sort of toned down. Beautiful. So I want the girls' dresses to match. Tell me, who have you brought with you today? Okay. Today I have brought nine out of my 15 bridesmaids. That's a lot of bridesmaids. Even if it's a two to one on the bridesmaids to the groomsmen situation, there's still like a leftover moment too. So like somebody's gonna have to walk two bridesmaids down. That sounds like a lot of people. That's just, a, it's a lot of people. It's not gonna be one bus, uh, it's gonna be two. Yes, God. <laughs> I know. Everyone pretty much gives Excuse me. me. <laughs> when I say 15, they look at me like, are you serious? I'm in a sorority, so I have a lot of sorority sisters. Okay. I have close friends from high school. It's, it's nice a good friends. mix of all of my friends along the way. That's insane. You I was gonna say, do I have 15 friends? I do. I definitely do have 15 friends. You've invited too many girls to the party. Mm -hmm. Somebody call the fire department because uh, this is a fire hazard. <laughs> what kind of bridesmaid dresses are you looking for today? I wanna stay in the purple family. It's definitely like a okay. formal wedding. We're gonna go with floral length dresses. Okay. I'm very excited for this because I love the contention between the bride and the bridesmaids where they're like, I don't wanna wear floor length. I don't wanna wear purple. I don't wanna do this. I don't wanna do that. And the bride's like, it's my day. It's me. It's about me. So I'm wondering if she's gonna be an it's about me or if she's gonna be able to be swayed by the bridesmaids. What do you guys think? Does it matter? Uh, yeah, I mean like, valid. I sit in that camp of the does it matter situation. I do have to say, obviously, if the dress is very expensive and if the dress is something that people are deeply uncomfortable with, I understand, you know, a little bit of a compromise. But for the most part, if it's not super duper expensive and it's not, you know, too uncomfortable for people, I sit in the is it about you or is it about me? And you're here to support me day. Does it matter? No, we've already had a meeting. So You've got to in your purse yeah, to kind of put them in line. So. I sent all the girls an email asking them to be my bridesmaids. I told them they have rules that they have to follow. 
There is no compromise. Your hair has to be the way she wants it. it okay. Your makeup has to be the way she wants it. Everything has to be perfect in her eyes. They definitely know that. Which I respect. I'm not somebody like that. Attention to detail isn't like my strongest suit as I feel like you can tell by this, but I do respect people that really like go for what they go for. But at the same time, there's always people caught in the crossfires of that as well. This wasn't gonna be like a fun wedding where they get to do what they want. <laughs> at least she's upfront about it. What are we looking at? Five. $500 for a bridesmaid's dress is outrageous. Yeah, no, that's a lot email. of money. It was in the email. You signed the contract. That's if you were BCC'd, you signed it on that perfect play. dress in your, right. in your mind. I want drama. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, wow my factor, dress, over yes. the top. Okay. I like this color purple right This here. one? Me and Brandon find this amazing okay. dress. It's got an amazing train. Oh, wow. Which, like, okay, I'm looking at this already, and it has the textured aspect. There's gathering, there's ruffles, you know, it's purple. This definitely does seem like something that she was looking for. So fun. It's got tons of ruching. I mean, this I just love screams it, love it. amazing. Yeah. So now, that definitely goes with the style. But it's oh, yeah. price, though. This dress is almost $600. <gasps> oh, no, ma'am. What? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> well, because when I was shopping for my dress, and I went over budget, so I've given them a budget, so they can go over Every five seconds, Tanel forgets about budget because she doesn't care about budget. Are you gonna pay you the $200 difference? No, because you read the email and this is what you signed up for. They agreed to be in the wedding. Pay up and shut up. Uh, right Lori, uh, budget conscious. The XNA on this. If you can't get the dress, just be a guest. They don't Ooh, have that. That's a good saying. <laughs> Listen, credit or credit is due. It's a good saying. Hey, you did it in a trash can. <gasps> You cannot throw Lazaro in the trash can. Uh -oh. Somebody please call I mean, the fashion police. Because you can. Both of them need to be arrested. It's my wedding. If I find the dress and I like it, just wear it and be quiet. Standing her ground, Tanel has the purple gown on. Oh, with the, the belt. Dresses. I like the back, though. I need a grand entrance. <laughs> Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna say it. I'm really not mad about the back. Like, I like let's let's revisit her really quickly. I'm not mad about that. I actually think it's kind of cute. It's kind of fun. I wouldn't be opposed if that was given to me for free to wear to the wedding. Also, like, it's a lot of money to expect somebody, 15 different people to pay. Oh my God. <laughs> I hate it. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, yeah, no, that's not good. I agree. Oh, no. So let's look at the black one first. The side pull in that like sort of toga antiquity style is just, it's rough. It doesn't look good. It's not really interesting. It's not well done. The side drape is like weird. I don't really enjoy that. And then the fact that like the waist is accentuated is okay, but at the same time, there's just like too much here. As for this, I actually don't know. What is that? Like a silver, a gray? It's just, it's boring. It's just meh. A blah strapless dress. And so, well, no, in my opinion. My Bad vote. to worst. Oh! Okay, wow. I'm not like mad about it. I know she's like, I don't like it, but if you really didn't like it, you wouldn't carry it like that. You know what I mean? Like you wouldn't be like trying to make it look even better. I like it, I feel like it's fun. I like the gathering, I like the ruching. I feel like it works and coalesces with her dress. I like the back detail. I like that it has a train. The question really is, do you want all of these dresses to like, I don't know, eclipse you in your wedding dress? That's the real question. I love this dress. I love the flower on the back. I love the drama. I could see it at the wedding. Look at that back. I do like the back. I like it. Absolutely atrocious. <laughs> I'm with Tanel, Team McIntyre. Take it off. When everybody's hair is down, you're not going to be able to see that. Tanel is very stern about us all having our hair down. And oh. That it's not going to mix with the back of that. That's true. Valid point. Rethinking. Oh, no, I don't like it like that. 16 inches. Yeah, not, that's not good. Okay, so the girls have one out. Love that for them. I love the dress. I do love that dress, match though. The I love that it. Snail might actually be more of a fashion diva than me. Here she comes. That's cute. I like that. Definitely a no. Yeah, what's... Sorry. Okay, yeah. I don't like it. Boring black. I don't like okay. the neckline. The navy blue isn't great. It's getting out of hand. No, I don't like that at all. I actually do like that red one. I think that red one's actually, it's kind of sweet. I'm not obsessed with the belt, the black belt on it, but I do like the mermaid cut. I do think that's actually very nice. I don't like the red one as much. Like do you have to walk like that? I can't believe it's happening, but she's turning into Bridezilla. She doesn't like anything so far. Mm. Nobody here seems to know what they want, so I'll show them what they need. 
Oh, okay, Brandon, go for it. Here she comes. Okay. Oh, I love that one. Okay, it has gathering details, which, you know, do I love? No, but the texture matching, I'm here for that aspect of it. The flowers are there. They're definitely not as crazy, which I think definitely acquiesces to the bridesmaids who don't wanna be carrying a bouquet in the front and in the back. I like the color. I'm not really mad about the color either, so, you know. And the mermaid is nice. I always like a mermaid. <laughs> and it has pockets. Oh, no. This is a silky taffeta magenta dress. Yeah, I like that. I love, She's very love, sweet. love that dress. You, you can't be serious. Like no, she doesn't. I do. I'm being so serious. I like it. Team dress. Woo. That purple dress is so beautiful. Love the color. Like, it's a fun dress. Yeah. This I'm not mad. Very well I could be madder right, about right, it, but I'm not. Dress. How much is it? 286. 286 is a good price. This dress mm -hmm. is going to shut so it down. But... I would wear it. Could you see all of your bridesmaids in a pink dress like this? The fact that you called it pink, now it's making me think, is everyone else gonna think it's pink? Oh I wanted God. pink not nowhere in the way. Pink. It's not pink, though. Really like a fan of pink? It's purple. I think that's a purple. A magenta is a kind of purple. Ugh, why did I just call this dress pink? Wait, what's going on? Like, I thought we were liking this dress, so now we went from, like, liking the dress to, like, unsure about the color. I think she is pretty much just scared to make a decision. I don't know. If we go back to Houston <laughs> and don't have a bridesmaid's dress, it's gonna be. I like Ashley. Ashley is very much so on on my love list. She says it straight. I like that. I don't I'm know why we like wouldn't pick this dress. Torn it's between not pink. the color. I realized I'm seeing purple, but it's called pink. So it's magenta. Let's. I need a googly first. According to Wikipedia. Magenta is a color that is variously defined as purplish red, reddish purple, or mauvish crimson. Nowhere does that say pink. And so I don't think it's pink. We're fine, we're safe, we're easy peasy. There's nothing to complain about. I'm not mad. We'll just say no for today. <gasps> to now. Sorry, guys. Uh, we're gonna leave Atlanta because obviously I'm upset. none of us college I graduates that was know cute. what the color purple looks like. So we're gonna go home and open up our little Crayola box and Oh, there goes purple. And then try again. If they could I always hate when they leave without the dress. The hell, they're going to be able to find a dress. Oh, Lori's upset. Lori's like, I wanted my commission. And I respect that. Let's move on now to Bridezilla might make bridesmaids wear a dress they hate, which like, unless it's really ugly, I don't know if I'm that opposed to that. Hey, girl. Hi. Hi. Okay. Me. I'm Julie Pavich. I am getting married Hi, in Julie. Months. My fiance is Tyler Bray. We uh -huh. are getting married in Midtown Atlanta. We're gonna actually walk- Midtown Atlanta? Oh, what? Is that dress actually like that or they just pinned it for height purposes? Please tell me they just pinned it because it's not, it's very unattractive. It looks like sheets rolled up. In my wedding dress because I want everybody to see it. That's bad. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that, but I said it. I am here today to look for bridesmaids dresses with my bridesmaids. <laughs> This is my girlfriend, Alex, my soon-to-be sister-in-law, Rachel, my other soon-to-be sister-in-law, Sally, my best friend, Heather, and my best friend, Jennifer. And this okay, is my love that. Partner, Jade. So what are we looking for today? We're strapless, not right? Or are we? Strapless, yeah. Because my dress is one shoulder. So we're staying away from that because I don't want anybody to clash with my dress, obviously. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Croatian bridezilla. I am the Croatian bridezilla. <laughs> and they know that I'm going to want what I want, and that's it. I'm not, you know, I can't be too opposed. It's just your wedding, you paid for it. She made us a bridesmaid's booklet that tells you the rules of what you have to wear, what you have to do, and here it is. <laughs> Number one. Okay. Please no drama. No color nail Valid. polish. No tan lines. Everyone will be matching from your hair down to your shoes. Okay. I am expecting perfection, plain and I, simple. I get it. All these rules and regulations, you know, honey, this is not the government. This is a <laughs> wedding. We're looking for two. Lori is definitely into small government. Two dresses. Um, okay. um, I've got these three. These three girls are my honorary bridesmaids, okay. and these two are regular bridesmaids. Oh, uh, with, with the honorary, not honorary bride shit. Like I can't do that. It's so annoying. I think it's so ridiculous. This is not a hierarchy. What is the reason? Why are we doing this to ourselves? We're all equal. Sing kumbaya. Hold hand. Like I just, I thought shit is so stupid. And then you want them all to match head to toe, but oh, you're honorary. You're not on it. Like, why? What's the difference? Stupid. Uh, great. Okay. Honorary bridesmaids, Me. regular bridesmaids. That's something that we don't see often here. I don't really like the split of that because it will cause tension. I did family. 
Wasn't rule one no drama, and yet we're setting it up for drama. I'm confused. As the bridesmaids, and then my closest girlfriends as my honorary bridesmaid. Okay, how do you ladies feel about that? I know how I would feel. I just don't understand why there needs to be a split to begin with. I why agree. Why don't you just have your family walk down the aisle first and your friends walk behind? It is my day. I should get what I want, and if they don't like it too bad... I'm into that with the dress, exactly. not into the, the drama the and the hierarchy. And if she doesn't like it, I can promise you there's probably going to be a scene. Okay. Well, nobody told me about, like, colors and stuff. <laughs> no, okay. no, absolutely not. I'm looking well, so like it's white. Bridesmaids usually don't wear white, do they? Like no. Chiffon type dress. I really don't want like the plain like silk looking white dress that everybody okay. does. Okay. Cheesy. Sorry. We are the bridesmaids. The chiffony girl. She wants Albert Albaz at Lanvin vibes. I'm really glad I'm in the wedding, but to me, honorary bridesmaid, it's almost like not as important. Yeah. It's like agree. You're setting us in two different classes. All right, bridesmaids lower class, bridesmaids upper class. It's not like they're not gonna be bridesmaids. They're in my wedding. I could just easily say, I want my okay. relatives in the wedding and not invite any. Okay, I, I'm i at the place where this is boring me. Well, I wanna know about the clothes. Please, please tell me about the dress. Be like, oh, but we really like these. And since we're the honorary bridesmaids, should we get to pick what we want? <laughs> I am a drama queen. I also like her though. She's causing tension and I'm about it. How much of a bitch would I be if I tried this? I was like, Julie, this is what I want. <laughs> and if you don't let me wear it, I don't want to be in your wedding. Alex is just trying That's kind of Gucci-esque. This has bad idea written all over it. I love Lori. I'm obsessed with her. An opinionated bride. Okay, bridesmaid one, let's see. Black dress, strapless. She said she wants strapless, that's the vibe. Do I know colors, anything else like that, that we want? No, disappointing, and I know we want chiffon. So it's gonna be flowy, it's gonna be free, it's kinda gonna, for the most part, be a little bit, I would say, flapper-esque, le garçon, sac dressy. I'm not obsessed with this, it's a black dress. I like, I like that. Rachel is in a strapless dress with side. Or maybe it's navy blue. I'm not too crazy about that one. No, it's but but that's also what you wanted. Is almost too plain for bridesmaids. It's like something you might wear as like a bathing suit cover up. It's what she says, guys. If <laughs> she doesn't like it, she's not gonna let us wear it, even if we love it. And if she does love it and we don't like it, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Okay, next up, oh wait, I'm dead. She is funny, I like her. She is on one and I'm about it. It is kind of giving me Gucci-esque sort of vibes. Or also like a little bit Valentino. It's like the red with the ruffle. It's very Italian-esque to me. <laughs> is it pleated? Alex oh, is oh God, yeah, that is. Ruffle neck that's, gown. Yeah. I like it. Oh my God. That's the problem is sometimes that shit backfires and it's not, it's not cute. Are you kidding me? It's hideous, horrendous. I don't even know if I have another word for it. <laughs> yeah, it's not good. It's like, it was a joke. Ugly. It's, it's not a joke. I, think I don't know if good. I want to call it cheap. Oh my God, do you like this really? I feel yes. like a pumpkin gone wrong. Pumpkin? <laughs> I really do like the ruffles. I think it brings a little something extra to the dress. Wait, she I'm actually dead. thinks that it's going to work. And the only thing I can think of is if she makes me walk down the aisle. She's gonna look like Liberace. I like it. I'm dead. Think you like enough to make us wear it? <laughs> Maybe. What? <laughs> I knew this was gonna be a disaster. Now this one is in the running for the honor. This is fun. I like, I wanted to be mad about this. Oh, that's hideous. That's atrocious. That is also like so Gucci. I feel like Gucci is the vibe for this wedding. I can't believe that they even have that in the store. It reminds me of like the Gucci Flora scarves, which is I guess fine for some people if that's what you want on like a 16 by 16 piece of silk, but a whole dress of ugly floral motifs? Somebody call Kid Cudi. And virtual Apple. Please don't tell me that she said she her charcoal, I think this would be really pretty. Rachel is in a long floral That is. The modified suit heart neckline. There's nothing attractive about that. The pleating, the neckline is god awful. There's just nothing here redeemable. There's 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 not. I realize it's unless you want it to be uh, Prada Spring Summer 1996 ugly chic. Like that if that's what you're going for, then I guess, but like I think you're missing out on the chic part and it's just the ugly. Gray dresses, but it's really hard to look through the floral print. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> oh, okay. That's kind of that? That's the one I picked out. <laughs> I have 
sort of love would you have on? Alex is no. It's like a silky drop waist with a with a belt with like a ribbon belt, and then it falls straight into the tool a line skirt. It's atrocious. In a drop waist tool dress. Oh, drop very waist. fun. A party dress. I do kind of like the dress. It's oh neat. God. It's fun. I want it to be different. I love that. I am not wearing that. No. I would, she could pay for it. Maybe I'd wear it, but. My yeah. legs look fat, and this does nothing for my hips. When we think of honorary bridesmaids, you think of kind of like at the back of the line. So we damn sure aren't gonna walk down the aisle looking horrendous. Yeah. I will not be in your wedding if I have to wear this. Oh. <gasps> Ooh. Contention. Really I was going to be in her wedding in that dress. She was sadly mistaken. Oh. I might pick it. And if she doesn't want to be in the wedding in that dress, fine. Honestly, I don't think Julie cares. As long as she gets the dress she wants, nothing oh else matters to her. I'm trying to find a cohesive look, but yeah. it's hard when you so Where is my girl Lori to come and help? Mm -hmm. Crystal, what do you think about these two? I like them. Well, you know, I they're really not do. identical, but that top's ruched, that top's ruched. Yep. Say a prayer over. What? They're different lengths. Okay, no, I mean, it's, it's ugly, it's not cute, it's not attractive, it's blah. It's blah, Rachel's chiffon, dress with the flower. Down with the flower detail at the waist. It's just... It's pretty. I like this cut. <laughs> I hate the flower. This yeah, I agree. I just can't get into, like... The chiffon is hard. The chiffon just always looks like rags to me. And, like, listen, you can pleat it, you can turn it into a flower, you can make it blue or yellow or purple or green or whatever. It's not gonna, it's not gonna do it, in my opinion. One of the things that I like... I like a structured... I, I like a, a silk gazar. Okay, let's look at her. Better. Like, I like that one. Oh, those are really That's cute. That's the one in it. Oh. Alex is in a short cocktail length dress. It's got ruching all it's the way fine. throughout the bodice. The black dress, I love. I think it actually looks really good. As long yeah. as I don't have to wear that crinoline dress, I wear a <laughs> muumu to your wedding. <laughs> Knowing her, she's gonna be like, I like the idea, order. let's do it. Like above the Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I think it's a little bit too long. The knees. At the, I like it. These two dresses look great on the girls. They flatter them both, and I think they'll be perfect for the wedding. I just Julie, don't do get the styles in your two wedding. Two different styles. Well, I mean, I do, but like Sorry, the honorary yes, bridesmaid thing has killed me. Oh. <laughs> yes. Oh. <laughs> yes. I don't like either of them, but. I feel like the style at least, is, you know. Complement each other, which is. Really it's not the floral dress. Hallelujah. I guess. <laughs> I'm not a singer, honey, but how do I, <laughs> I love. She likes the dress that she's got on. And I miss Lori. And I like when I have on, so I guess it works out in the end. Maybe everybody found out I was a little more than they thought I was, but you know what? It's my wedding. That's what I want. <laughs> All right, well, that is the end of that experience. Let's do a best and worst. The best for me is gonna have to go to that dress that the first bride wanted with the ruching all the way, the floral ruffles in the back, the cape, train. I love that. I thought it was so dramatic. I thought it was so ridiculous. I thought it was so funny. I thought it actually matched the texture of her dress. And so like, to me, it all sort of made sense. The worst dress that came out of that experience was that floral monstrosity. It was just Uggo. It was just really, really uggo. It was fugly. I will say that. It was fugly. It wasn't Prada. It was not a, it was just, it was bad. So that is the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, thank you to ExpressVPN and check that link in the description box below. I will see you guys in the next video and TTYL.